Hello ADF fans! Today we're going to show you user-defined functions in mapping data flows. UDFs are basically a way to create shareable logic that you can use across many mapping data flows. So things that you can do in the expression language in mapping data flows are able to be kind of reused uh, multiple times without having to redeclare them over and over again. So here in this mapping data flow, you'll see that I have some example sales data that was kind of pre-generated. And to get started, we're actually going to go to the Manage tab here in Data Factory. And you'll see under the Author section, we have a Data Flow Libraries Preview. Data Flow Libraries are collections of user-defined functions. They allow you to group these functions in whatever way makes sense for your organization. Uh, this could be by business unit. So for instance, finance could have their own set of functions. Uh, you could do this maybe by type of function. So if you had a bunch of string manipulation functions you wanted to keep together, you could keep those in one library. Or you know, myself, Josh, could have his own library that just has a bunch of one-off functions that Josh likes to use. So to get started, we're going to click New, and we're going to give this a name. So let's call this a uh, string lib, right? So these are going to be my string manipulation functions that I want to create. And to get started, I'm going to click the new function here, and I'm going to give my function a name. So let's call this default upper. So I'm going to create a function that does some default stuff I want to do to my columns, maybe uppercase it, uh, do a trim function. Maybe I want to coalesce and create a default just in case the, the string is null. Right, a bunch of common string manipulation things I might do, but I want to apply to logic across many mapping data flows so I don't have to create keep creating that logic over and over again. You'll see here that we can add one or more arguments, and these arguments are automatically named, so they'll go from like I1, I2, and so on. And I can choose a input type for that argument as well. In this case, I'm going to leave it as string uh, because I am doing a string manipulation function. And then I'm going to open the expression builder here. And you'll see that I have the full array of the kind of rich mapping data flow expression language functions available here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a coalesce, right? So coalesce allows us to um, have a kind of default value, right, in a list of values. It'll choose the first non-null. You'll see here that if I have my arguments here, I can actually just select and pick them. Like so, you know, the arguments I defined, I1, I2, and so on, will be available here. And obviously, if I coalesce this and I1 happens to be null, uh, we're just going to give it a value of uh, default, right? Now, I also want to do, you know, a couple more things here. So, like I said, we're going to do a trim around that input column. Uh, and we're also, uh, let's make it upper by default. So, you know, this function will always turn the text upper, right? So here we have, you know, a few different expression functions. Uh, kind of chaining together here to create a reusable logic. So we're going to save that. You notice the name of my function is default upper. That'll show up here in a second. I'm going to save this. I'm going to publish this. So I make sure that it is available. Then while it's publishing, I'm going to come into my mapping data flow. And we're going to add a new derived column transformation. Now. User-defined functions don't have to be in derived columns. This is probably the most common place people will use these, but anywhere that you see this uh, open expression builder box, you can actually call that user-defined function. So whether it's defining uh, an aggregation or you know other thing that you want to do more dynamically, uh, it's not limited to just derived columns. And so I'm going to uh, take my country, right? So let's call this country upper, right? And apply this string manipulation logic there. So if I go into my expression builder, you'll see here under expression elements, we now have a data flow libraries functions. And you'll see that all the functions across your libraries will be available here. So if I do the default upper and I put a schema column in, so it'll say country, this will dynamically pass that column into my function, apply that logic and return that back into my mapping data flow. So if I hit save and finish here, Hit data preview, give it a second, and then I scroll to the end, you should see a country upper column that has a trim function applied to it. So the countries here, like for instance, Canada, Japan, Libya, right? If I scroll to the end, you'll see here that they are uppered, right? And if any of them were null, they would have take that coalesce function and put the word default in there. Now, 
this is great, a simple example, but this can be really powerful with, for instance, pattern matching uh, columns in data, data Factory. So if I click Add here and I do Column Pattern, I can do kind of fancier stuff here where uh, if I do type equals string, this basically means every column that is a type string, I'm going to do something with. And in this case, the uh, column name expression is what do you want to name those two columns? So I'm going to do dollar dollar, which is the original column name. And then I'm going to add underscore upper, right? So that it'll be country uh, upper, uh, sales ID upper, if that was a string. And then the value expression, we're going to refer to our function as well. And then I'm just going to pass that column into that function. So again, what this is doing is for every string column, it's going to pass that column into my user-defined function, return the trim upper coalesced value, and then rename that column into my, my stream as the original column name underscore upper. So this is kind of showing you the kind of power of these user defined to find functions that you can reuse that logic many times over many columns and only define it once. So now if I go to data preview, hit refresh, give it a second, you'll see that I had columns like region, I had country, we had item type, sales channel, right? Now if we look to the right here, you'll see that I have region upper, country upper, item type upper, sales channel upper, and it applied that function, that logic to those columns, right? So it shows you that power of combining some of the advanced features of mapping data flow, like the column pattern matching, and then something where you can create reusable logic like these user-defined functions and create something kind of cool that you can apply logic over many columns. And I can do this again across many mapping data flows. So hope you enjoy and uh, show us what you can do. Thanks.